Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous day in the garden. Um, today we are going to be playing with a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with one of my colors. Um, today what we are going to be doing is sort of a progression on the last painting we did which was lapis lazuli which was that really cool skewer swipe where I used the Ceramax Max stick and uh, kind of put it underneath the paint and stretch out some parts and some of the parts that I really liked the most on that one were when I stretched out the fingerlings so I think what we're going to do today is a straight pour kind of close to the canvas to keep the colors distinct making a lot of fingerlings intentionally so that we can then stretch them out so I think this is going to be really really cool let's get started uh, the first color we're using is golden's turquoise phthalo uh, everything is mixed with mixed pour tonight. You can get your own mixed pour by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. This is the turquoise thalo. I have kept it kind of thick because I do want the colors not to blend very, very much. Okay, so that's our turquoise thalo. Then we have golden Van Dyke Brown, which I'm really enjoying the last couple of pours and some other projects that I did. I think it might be like the Father's Day thing a nice deep rich espresso colored brown which I really like so and it stays dries really really deep that's actually what's on the sides and edges of this is the Van Dyke brown oh I just put that up there oops okay next one we have is really cool this is Decor extreme sheen in jadeite which is cool it's kind of like pistachio but with a little bit of a metallic or pearly sort of shift to it okay so that's jadeite and then we have Decor Extreme Sheen in Pearl. And then my lovely, beautiful, sparkly, shimmery friend, Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. This one is a little thicker than everything else, but that's okay because I don't want the gold to actually take over. I want it to go where I want it to go. Okay, so let's get started. For this size canvas, this is the 24 by 30 inch we need about 25 or 26 ounces of paint so i have two 16 ounce cups here that would be 32 as hoa just so gallantly said don't fill them up all the way so. <laughs> yeah, and, as then, if. and then he laughed like that happy father's day darling <laughs> thank you love okay so we're gonna start with just we're gonna do two cups but we're not gonna fill them up all the way or i'm gonna try not to fill them up all the way so a little bit of gold in the bottom Okay, some pearl. And the reason I'm drizzling it off of the stick is because I don't want a lot right there. If I pour it, I'm gonna get much more than that. So by drizzling like that, I don't get as much, which is what we want. Okay, now we're gonna use that beautiful Van Dyke Brown. Oh, yeah, okay, I can do it differently the second layer. Contrast. I would have thought you'd put gold between those two. Mm, I don't like what Van Dyke does next to the gold, right next to it, so. Okay. We use our pearl as a barrier. Now we're going to come in with the jadeite. Okay, we'll put 
some brown on the top. Okay. Alright. So, we definitely want to have some kind of base coat. This is leftover drips and scrapings and things like that. Kind of a light blue shimmery color. I'm not worried about that because it's going to get covered up. Okay, so we're going to start about here and we're going to go that way. So it's like traveling straight for you? Yeah, here we go. Are you ready, husband of us? I last Semper Paratus. Here we go. I'm doing a wandering straight pour. I'm not moving very fast because I want the fingerlings because I want to be able to stretch them out into this more solid area. Which does look pretty cool so far. Awesome. We're going to turn this around. I'm going to do one more on here. From the other direction. So we're going to start about here. Are you ready, husband boss? Awesome. Yes. Here we go. Looking really cool. What do you think, HOA? Man, it looks like a really awesome snowman. What? I think it looks like a really awesome snowman. Snowman? <laughs> it's just the two shapes. Let's see. Okay. No, I think it's beautiful. I think those I are these. really perfect. I really love these little cells that are popping up in there. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. what I want to do. <laughs> I want to take the palette knife and go underneath some of these fingerlings. Not a stick? I, I want to try it with this first. Right. Um, and stretch out some of the fingerlings. And instead of going that way, I could go this way. Yeah. All right. So actually, you know what? Let's try it over here on this little corner edge and see how it goes. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna go underneath. And we're gonna stretch them out. Okay. That's interesting. I'm not crazy about what happened right there. Let's try it one more time. If it doesn't work, then we'll go back to a skewer or the snack stick. Ready? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool looking. 
Yeah. Oh. And a ribbon sort of look to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to try the smack stick because I want to play in this center part here to sort of combine them. Now let's see. Okay. Be brave, right? Yeah. Right. Go under here. Yeah? Yeah. I need a jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna go over here, yeah. I have to show you guys the birds. So my bird war, the babies have <laughs> hatched the little nestlings, I guess. And they're so ugly that they're cute. They look like little tiny baby vultures. I'll try to get some video for you guys. <laughs> but they, now they sit in there and they're like, cheep, 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 with their little mouths open and mama comes over and she feeds them. It's just, it's adorable. Okay, so. Do I want to mess this up or is it really cool? Maybe we'll do one through there. You don't want me to. <laughs> well, I was just saying, I do think it's really cool. But I know. you, you could okay. improve it. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could make it even better. Okay, ready? Uh-huh. Get under here. I'm gonna pull this through. That's neat. Mm, yeah. I like those lines. I'm gonna do one more. Okay. That's fun. I like that. I like that shape. I like that swing. All right, I wanna do one more through here. Let's see, let's go this way. Okay? No. I like that. Coming around the other side, that's really neat. Okay. I'm going to turn it around and do a little bit on that side. Be bold, right? Right. Okay, here we go.
Do you like better HOA, this one or this one? Um, I think I like that side better. Screen left. But you know what I've been realizing lately is sometimes if you over tilt it, you get like, if the paint gets very, very thin and then it gets, loses some of the pigmentation. So I'm trying to stop myself from over tilting. And sometimes you break too. So sometimes I should just leave it like this. I think it's beautiful like it is. is you, are you worried that there's too much paint on it? No. Oh, then why would you bother? Well, just composition-wise, to correct. Like, I don't actually like that this is kind of like a horizontal line now. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Like this. The only other thing we could do is we could take some of that off and stretch this all out that way, but I don't know if we actually need to. I think I kind of like that darker brown contrast. Okay, so we're going to stop there. Okay, let's start this again. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay. Take me away, I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. So this is our uh, second skewer swipe. Thank you so much to my friend Fiona for this awesome technique. And I've used my smack stick. Thank you so much to my amazing Sarah, who has told me that there are more smack sticks on the way and in production, maybe model 2.0. So <laughs> this is awesome. Um, it's not gonna be dry in time to show you tomorrow, but I will take lapis lazuli outside and show you that one in the sun right now. So thanks for being here with us so much. This weekend on Sunday is Father's Day. And I think the second part of the We Are Family collab is airing. Most of the day there will be a playlist link for you guys. Um, so make sure you check out all those amazing artists. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So. This is awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here and happy early Father's Day to all the dads out there. We love you. Bye. So this is a few days later. This is Lapis Lazuli. Totally dry now. So cool. Really, really pretty. I love that wandering straight pour with the metallic cobalt in there and the Van Dyke Brown. Beautiful lines. Really cool stuff. So on this one we played a little bit with that skewer swipe down in here in this bottom section. And that's kind of what we played with more today. <laughs> so, this is really fun. I like this technique a lot. Um, so, thanks for being here with us. I will show you the piece from today when it is dry. See you guys! Woo! <laughs> thanks, HOA. <laughs> we'll see you soon. I just want to love you. I just want to